Yeah, so I'm back with another video. I know I ain't been making videos. That's just my fault. But how y'all doing out there? And this time, I'm coming with a special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, my name is Sana and I have my own podcast for uh, Sanaism and thank you for joining me. Well, I've been joining. Yeah, you coming on here and talking mm -hmm. about a topic. So, the topic for today is, it's, it's a juicy one. Always. It's always juicy. It's um, juicy. So, knowing to you know knowing how to do something but not execute nor applying it is what we're going to talk about today mm -hmm. um basically we're living in a world now where there's so much information and there's so many different perspectives on information and different ways of doing something that we get really caught up in the idea of doing something especially like with spirituality and, yeah. and um I feel like as a human being or, you know, as an animal or whatever you are, <laughs> no. uh, you know what to do. Yeah. You know how to be successful. You know that you know how to deal with your neurotic and your narcotic ways. You know what to do, but you're not applying it. So what is that middle ground and what do you think that you need to do to start applying it? What do you think? Um, I think, honestly, sometimes it just boils down of fear. Fear. You know, okay. maybe it's like the fear of actually being successful, you know, that keeps a lot of people down. And, you know, it's because it's a scary thought, you know, it's yeah. very scary to think about you being outside of yourself, something that you've identified with for so long, mm -hmm. you know, so it could be like a fear thing. And how do you, how do you navigate those feelings of um, letting yourself down? Because then in, in all actuality, you letting yourself down, not the people around you, you know. Exactly. Because like, you sit here and you know these things. You took the time to learn these things or these things have come to you or you had enlightening moments. Um, but when you fail to execute what you've learned, that's when you meet, like that's when you start to let yourself down. You know, because then you're not living up to what you already know, what you're, you know, what you're capable of, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that if, if the thought came to you, you know, and even if it was like, man, I can apply this to my own life uh, and you fail to do so, then you can't really blame anyone but yourself. Like if you really, truly want yeah. to succeed, you know, you would try your best to make sure that these, that it happens. Most definitely. And how do you think that intertwines with the, you know, how you were raised? Because a lot, like, like you were saying, a lot of people, uh, it's fear. And most of the, I feel like most of that fear comes from the backlash that you get from your parents and your grandparents and your sisters and your family, you know, cause you got a structure that you're in and you're trying to break the structure to create your own new structure. But that is a really hard task, especially if you don't know that you're in the structure in the first place. You're not aware of that. So here you are trying to start a new life or you're trying to do something that you know that you're supposed to get done mm -hmm. and you're not applying it, but you're still a part of the old paradigm yeah. structure. You're still in the bubble of mommy yeah. and daddy because they ain't getting it done. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to go and create a new structure and let them down. Yeah. But at the same time, you want to make sure your life is right. And then if you leave then now you this black sheep of the family or something like yeah. that. It's just, it's, it's so many ways around it. And, and I think, like you said, it's that fear, fear of leaving your family behind in the structure that they're in and creating your new structure does seem kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, but I feel like, I feel like to me, what, what scares you most? Do you, what scares you most? Like, what do you mean? Does the fear of you not succeeding and failing your family more, more, is, is it more powerful than the fear of the actual success itself? You know, like the fear of you letting your family, your, your peoples down and then, but the fear of letting yourself down, you know, and I think that if you, if you go to accordingly of what your family 
want you to be you know or even if you go outside the structure like my family they expected me i mean my family really didn't expect much out of me to be honest you know like i was the black sheep of the family you know mm -hmm. and um you know i've witnessed my my elders tell me all types of things you know and then i've had my my parents my you know my mom and my dad and they encouraged me to do uh, a lot you know and i think that's what helped helped me kind of like propel myself forward to where i'm at today you know mm -hmm. i'm not exactly where i want to be but i'm damn sure far away from where i was where i was right and you know but i think that if we live accordingly to our family trajectory trajectory um then i'll be ultimately letting them down anyway because i'm not what they expect me to be do you know what yeah. i mean so like if i'm already like so if you if my family say yo why you know you should be going to school you should be doing this you should be doing that but they you didn't know go to school. but they didn't i mean but you know you can't really blame because like, they they see the way they were raised you know school was the ticket School was the ticket. Change, Nine to five yeah. was the ticket. Not, yeah, you know, things so, have changed. Yes, yeah, so many things have changed. So I'm already by me thinking outside of the box. I'm already letting them down. Yeah. So at this, they, yeah. yeah. So at this point, I'm like, if I'm already letting them down, you know, at least I have to prove to them that I know what I'm doing. Exactly. And I'm gonna go back to what you were saying earlier. The fear thing. The fear of trying to, like, the fear of being your parents and getting their results, and you know that's not what you want. And then on top of that, the fear of you being successful because they put a fear on you to do something outside of that structure. Yeah. That's too much fear. There's so many fears. That's too much fear. That's a big resistance that you got to break. It's a big resistance to break. And the older you get, the higher that resistance going to get. Mm -hmm. And it sucks, but that's... You got to break the resistance. You have to for your sake, not for them. That's why I say you got to be your own man or your yeah. own woman. Be your own self. If you're trying to be like everybody else or trying to be like your family or fit in, you're not being yourself. And remember, the spirit wants to grow and express itself. And here you are telling your spirit, no, nah, I got these paradigms and these bubbles in the way. I don't want you to grow. Mm. Eventually, you're going to blow. Yeah. Something's going to blow. And we're we're all our own individuals, even though we're the same person in, in spirit. But we all got our own paths to go. And if you know your path is this way, but you're taking the path that your parents is taking, mm -hmm. you're going to be unsatisfied anyway. So Absolutely. why not just go your path? Yay. Full strive to your path, regardless of mommy and daddy and grandma. Like, don't go down there. Do it anyway for yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you're 50 and 60 years old and you followed your parents and you're getting the same results, if they're not getting the results you want, you're going to you're gonna have regrets in life. Yeah, I think, too, is just yeah. like learning to live up to your own standards and not other people's standards, you know, because I feel like deep down we, un we know what's best for us. But then mm. whenever we think about those things we we take into consideration other people but it really as selfish as it sounds like it's really a not it's not about other people it's about where you want to be and how do you see yourself and, and how do you want to be portrayed again like even if other people see you differently you know they can't say that you know oh well if i continuously present myself to be a very sweet person a very kind person you know um, and not saying that this is, you know, I could easily, everybody has a tendency to be outside of their, um, standing state, I guess you would say their, their constant state. Um, but it's really just learning how to live up to your own standards and not, you know, cause if you are constantly worried about other people and trying to fill into other people's cups, you know, whenever it comes down to other people filling your cups, you're not going to feel as filled fulfilled because you think that they should do more or you know they don't you know, it's just like how do you think outside of other people you know outside of other people and start listening to yourself trusting your own things like kind of how we talk about with trading you know how can you trust your own analysis you know when we think about our lives in you know where we want to be we're analyzing our lives 
Yep. You know, we're analyzing our lives. We're, we're trying to see projections. Like, okay, I'm going to do this and that. And this. we're literally planning our lives and trying to trust and analyzing where we're going. So if we analyze where we're going, but we don't trust ourselves, we're going to do outside of that analysis. You know, we're going to we're going to shell ourselves short. You know, we're going to yeah. be, you know, we'll see like, oh, man, I could possibly be this. But then we don't trust ourselves. So then we we go, well, I could be this, but I'm just going to settle for this. But you could have been there, you know. So then you're, you're literally selling yourself short. Pretty much. You know, how can you trust your own analysis? And, you know, it's cool to get signals from other people to let you know like oh if you go this way you know you could probably do this or like yeah, you know cool. if you do that you know but it's still up to you to look at your own life and be like does this signal apply to my life right you know because not every signal works right right yeah, so. yeah. and that i feel like that that's the tough decisions that we you know we got to make in our life are we heading down the right road Cause sometimes you got to reevaluate your goals. Yeah. Like when I first started writing my goals out, there's some goals I had to let go. Cause I'm like, I grew out of wanting to do that. Like I wanted a laundromat and an ATM. Now I'm like, I uh, don't really want that. Right. I want <laughs> this, that, and the third. So, and even like when I start, you know, I had to let go of my business. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in a way, I don't look at it that unfortunately. There's dualities to yeah. it, but. I had to let it go because it was burning other parts of my life. So I have to, you know, step down and then take that nice big Fibonacci replacement back up at the twenty three point six. Y'all don't understand that. It's okay. okay. But, <laughs> yeah, but Some yeah, people don't. <laughs> I, it's your life. You have decisions to make. You talk to yourself daily, even daily. though your thoughts are not your thoughts. But you know, there there are thoughts that are really your mom and dad and grandma and grandpa's thoughts you have to be on yourself daily with mm -hmm. rituals and you have to get clear where you want to go in life and write it down stop having it in your head because your head yeah. will start taking it and start mixing it up and then sink yeah so write yeah. it down every day and be clear and have a ritual every day where you want to go and start heading in that direction and never ever ever worry about how you're gonna get there because once you made the decision your spirit will hear you yes. and what you want because you're writing it down every day. And your spirit will open up the avenues for you to go in those directions. And that's one of the things that I stress so much on my channel so much. If you have goals, write them out in mantras or affirmations and be clear about them and go in that direction and stop worrying about where you at right now. Just don't even worry about where you're going to be. Just have those rituals together because eventually... It might take a while, but it's going to be that day you're like, oh, I've been writing this down for the last two years. I'm there now. Mm -hmm. So it's really not even about about you at this, at the, the you that's now. It's about who you're going to grow and yes. be. So the, the whole affirmation thing is for growth. You don't need to see your growth, really. It's, it's for the future. Uh, it's you. For, yeah, it's for the future it's you. The, it's not the now you. It's, <laughs> it's for not the, the now. It's for the future. You got to grow yeah. into the person you want to be. Mm -hmm. You want to be a. Uh, a, uh, a doctor you keep practicing to be a doctor in school over and over and over and over again the repetition is very important yeah and eventually out of the blue boom something's gonna click in your head and now you you got it even with trading like how we're doing with trading or if you on your whatever journey you want yeah. the practice is the part that's gonna help you grow you do not need to worry about your growth yeah. The only thing you need to worry about is the ritual that yeah. you're doing. It it's in. about really trusting the process. Yeah, trust the process. Trust the process. Like, I remember um, whenever I was transitioning from, you know, my apartment and then just having, I just, I've gone through a lot of transitions, to be honest. And, you know, at the time, you know, we think about it in such a negative light because we don't see the end. You know, we think this is just mm -hmm. like all all that will be ever be. You know, there's like we don't think of the change that we can be. You know, like we don't think about the metamorphosis or the person we're going to be outside of that. And to be honest, like, yeah, that point that you're going through is very important because it teaches you how you deal with conflict. It just teaches you, you know, who you are during mm -hmm. different points in your life. But in the end, it's all really, really 
about trusting the process and knowing that whatever you're going through right now, it will serve purpose in the end. And no matter where you are in your journey, you are exactly where you need to be. And and that may sound like weird, you know, like some people will see that be like, what you mean I need to be in this struggle spot? Or what you mean like I need to be out in the streets? There's something there that you need to learn in order for you to get yourself out of that situation like regardless of whether it's a relationship you know if you break it if you broke up with someone mm -hmm. and you know you're still stuck on this person or whatever there's something that you are tr that you haven't quite learned from that situation you know every everything is a learning lesson and yes, it's up it to is. you to to find that lesson not other people you know it's really up to you to see to use your own perspective your own lens of how you view life yes to get to the next step to learn the lesson you know because each person can look at that same situation and find a different lesson in it and but that lesson it may not be yours you know you may be like yeah you know that's true but then then tomorrow you be like but wait i'm still stuck on this person but wait i'm still in this situation because right. The answer that that person gave you wasn't quite the answer that you needed. You know, you there's, you you're lazy in your own thought process whenever you uh, just take everyone's word for it. You know, you be that be makes you lazy. You right. know, lazy in your thinking, and you know it's important that you continuously question yourself. You know, and not in a way of like. You know, it sounds very contradictory when you say trust the process, but then question yourself. You know, you yeah, in order to it's it, like it, a balance. yeah, it's, it's a, a balance. balance. You know, like yeah. in order for you to you know, and the reason why you question yourself, people, is not because you don't trust yourself. You want to make sure that you know you are doing the right decision and that the decision is meant for you. You know, that's when you question yourself. Like, am I doing this for me? You know, that's the question. Am I doing this because someone told me to do it? Am I doing this because somebody else put me in the situation? Even though there's no such thing as someone putting you in the situation, you know, first you have to agree to be in the situation, you know, before someone puts you in it. But even if that was the case, you know, like, how can I get out of, you know, you, you have to question, but at the same time, trust it. Trust the questions. Trust that the questions you're asking yourself are the proper questions to get you out of whatever thought process you are in. Definitely. You know, Definitely. That's, that's the growth, that's the, the learning aspect, you know, learning yourself most importantly. Yes. And finding your purpose, that's the question. What is my purpose? Those are the questions you should be asking yourself, you know, but trusting that throughout the questions, you will learn what you need to learn. Definitely. And through due, in due time with the right rituals or just like per perfect practice makes perfect with the perfect rituals to get you to the goals that you get into, you'll get yeah, there. But you be will. patient with yourself. Stop yes. trying to get there immediately. Absolutely. You'll get there. You'll it get just there. takes time. Just so. every day, just keep walking towards, like, like, like you were saying earlier, Curtis. Like when you write down these things, you know, these blueprints. Because at the point, at that point, they're blueprints. These affirmations are blueprints. You know, whenever you say this is what i'm gonna do this is i'm happy and grateful this i'm happy and grateful. whatever that is for you i'm happy you're literally setting the blueprint of your future self you know and when you do that you, like you said your subconscious mind every day you will work towards that stuff even if it's a thought toward you may not even act on it but the fact that you even have a thought on it that's yeah. very important i wouldn't even try starting to yeah. act on it i would just, i would let it naturally start happening yeah just naturally start yeah. happening every day i don't day. care how big your goals are like write them down mm -hmm. and they might sound ridiculous as yes, hell coming absolutely out of your because that's what's what your monkey mind gonna say mm -hmm. while you're writing it down damn this is some goofy shit that's a a a, okay great keep doing it anyway and then it won't be so goofy when you get to your goal because mm -hmm. you didn't grew into it because you kept pushing the issue onto your subconscious to your subconscious started letting your spirit talk to you and your intuition will take you there yes. it's that simple it's that simple you it's, got all the power and all hard, the answers and everything in your head the, 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 the execution part. is there it's the hard part the because you've part. been programmed by your parents not to execute they be like mommy i want this toy how are you gonna get that See, that's the problem right there. How you gonna get that is irrelevant until you make the decision and you're okay. gonna go get it. You already made the decision. You made the you decision. I want this toy. Eventually the toy will come to you. I know it sounds cliche and silly, and now you're an but adult. 
But you know what? But you know what too is you know I think the whole dream part. You know how like they say the American dream, mm -hmm. right? So you are really dreaming, right? This whole time, time we're dreaming our mm -hmm. imaginations and we're thinking about all these things, but we they don't ever tell you to actually go get it. You notice that, right? People, but it's good. I mean, dreaming is good. I know, mean, dreaming is sense. good. You know. Yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but dreaming, if you all in your head all the time, then what? That's true. Then you're still in your head. You know, you could be sitting, you know, when you're in the bed and you're dreaming of things, you would think about all the stuff that you dreamt of, dreamt of, but you're still in your bed. Yeah, you're not taking the you're action. You're not taking any action. So actions. eventually you got to start taking the action mm -hmm, and doing the execution. It, the execution. So that's 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 the sum up of that story. Okay. So, the yeah. execution is what's important. The, All that stuff is execution. You question yourself, you executing. You execute you execution like you're taking the initiative to even question yourself in the first place. Right. Most people don't even go that far. Some people just go through their life and live willy nilly and not understanding the the habits so that they content. have it's I so content you know, why are you content sitting at your job yeah and you know an and to be I, even though hey wait, wait hold up i'm some sorry some people be people are okay with that some people some are they're not okay. okay with that because at first at first it was cool but the spirit wants to grow your yeah, spirit wants true. to grow trust and believe it that's you true, hear guys. the old spirit and your intuition be talking. You be ignoring it because you don't know the difference between your monkey mind and your intuition. So your intuition be like, okay, this is cool for now, but now I want this and you need this and you need that. And you ignore it and stay complacent. Mm -hmm. And as time go on, you ignore how you want until somebody like me come around and reintroduce it back in your life. And yeah. now you upset. It is what it is. Every time I talk to somebody and I give them this, you know, I talk like this to to like in, enlighten them now they like you know what i've been thinking about this you know you know i thought about it a few times and i just kind of laid it off and that, that's what happens i know i do it sometimes too yeah. we ain't we're all no, humans yeah, we really but are. we want the best life you know what the best life is but you, you sit here and lie to mm -hmm. yourself and say the best life is to Deceive live at that. Deceive yourself. That, yeah, you're Self deception. deception, basically. Yeah. Self deception. Self deception. And sabotage. Self sabotage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the whole like the whole fear thing because we're afraid. You know, and I think that's too like we talk about. We really talk about this all the time. Like even with the whole self deception thing. You know, whenever you fear something, you whenever those thoughts. Just like just like when you write down your goals every day, you will start to like work towards those things. Mm -hmm. If you have those thoughts of fear every day, you have fear that you of being successful that you're gonna let your parents down. Mm -hmm. You're literally already doing it. Yeah. You don't even know you're doing it because you don't you're, know you're doing because the image in your that you hold in your head will manifest. Yeah, because you ain't, you're it, ain't on it crazy to that when you playing basketball and before you make that shot or you make that hit with the swing on golf. If you have the image that it's gonna not make it, ain't it crazy that image it will really, make you yeah. not make it? But That's if you had all the confidence that it was gonna go in, you it'll hit, go in. You so the images you hold in your head yeah. really do something. That's why imagination and, and med meditation and imagining yourself outside of where you're at right now, imagine yourself past your you know your circumstances is a daily ritual that yeah. you should have. If you have any problems in your life. Sit there for 15 minutes a day and imagine yourself getting past that problems. Imagine yourself where you need to be. It's like having a doppelganger in your head. Okay. It will tell you Got exactly it. what to do eventually. But with that being said, I'm glad to be back on YouTube. I'll be making some more videos. I, you know, I just be, I have my little spells where I have to figure some things out. But thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. This is it's been a good show i like yeah. it i like having people on my show i never <laughs> had one nobody but this has been great do you want to tell them anything um i all i have to say is just keep moving forward <laughs> keep keep moving forward in your journey trust yourself most importantly trust yourself and love yourself be patient with yourself you yes. know in the end you are you literally have yourself as bad as that sound not saying that other people are not around to help you but you literally have yourself and you have to make sure that uh, you take care of yourself and trust yourself uh, trust your instincts question your instincts do all that you know just self-inquiry and execution whenever you finally do once you have that solution or that thought 
execute like go for it execution execute like as soon if you Find have that it, strategy and take massive yeah, action like when Tony you have Robinson. aha moments mm -hmm. those aha moments are so important and is it, those aha moments are important but they become significant when you act on them yes love it all right so i'll be seeing y'all <laughs> soon peace and hair grease okay